like to call everybody up to the front of the stage because I'm going to tell everybody a little secret. Um, and if you're in the back of the room, if you're sitting as far, you're not going to hear it, and that's going to suck for you. Just saying. Just saying. You guys in the front, you're cool. You're going to hear my secret. It's the most secret secret you've ever heard in your life. All right? So, the secret is, This is Stephanie here with Infernal TV, and I'm here right now with Dollskin. So, how are you? Good. 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 We are good. All right, awesome. So, uh, you're on a little tour right now. Uh, I mean, you just played Ship Rocked. We'll talk about Ship Rocked in a minute, but let's just talk about some of these dates that you're uh, going on or that you're playing right now. Uh, so basically, we just kind of routed to the boat in the back, to the boat and the back, to the boat and back. Um, so we went up through from Arizona through Texas, and then we came up to to Miami, where we left ship for ship rock. Uh, Port Canaveral, thank you. Uh, we played Ship Rock. It was so awesome. There were so many cool bands, and we're actually playing with one of them tonight. We're playing with Kaleido. Um, they're doing like the same exact thing. They're routing to and from the boat, and then we're just making our way back to Arizona and just doing some uh, Florida shows and then doing a bunch of Texas shows right now. It's really fun, and it's raining. It's cool. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, I mean, uh, we did mention Ship Rock, but is there anything in particular? Like, I saw you all uh, took a picture with Corey Taylor. Like, any other, like, really awesome memories or anything from the tour? Or from the ship, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Jeez, oh it was all God. over the place. We met so many people. I think personal favorites, the guys from Stone Sour, could not have been cooler. Ran into one of the dudes from Seven Dust. Very nice. Um, oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, who else? Who else? Um, I met uh, Roy Mayorga, who's yeah. the, the drummer of Stone Sour. Super nice, and he did one of those pictures. Where he was like pointing at me. I'm like, what me? He was like, Aww. I was like, <laughs> um, and I also met Morgan Rose uh, from Seven Dust, and like all these incredible drummers. Just like, and also said hi to Corey and everything, and like just talked to all these incredible mu musicians. Met this band Joyous Wolf, who's incredible. Yeah, big, big freaking shout, shout out. Big yeah. fat shout out. Yay. They're going on every festival I've ever dreamed of, yeah. um, and their music is like the reincarnation of classic rock, um, but, like, but like without, modern. yeah, but like modern and without the gimmick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, Joyous Wolf was one of my highlights, and also for me, I really liked meeting Beartooth, um, mm -hmm. made friends with Beartooth, um, fat shout out to them too, even though they don't need some it. Some other crew guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the guys in the band, I can't remember exactly who, but... Guitar. I don't know. One of the guitarists. Was it? Um, he he looked us up before the before the tour. The whole thing. The there we like go. Crew. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody. Everyone is so cool. They're nice. Jar. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Jar really from. Cool yeah. Oh my goodness. We met I lots play, of people. I played a Stowaway song with Chris Adler. Wow. That was a big wow. Oh, everybody in the Stowaways. Bumblefoot, yeah. Chris Adler, all those guys. That was incredible. That was rad. More love the story. Shiprocked was lit. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's true. Oh.
sounds like you all had a great time. So um, let's just, um, because Manic Pixie Dream Girl, I mean, it came out over the summer, but um, how was it like playing some of the songs live? Um, I mean, it's, I'm sure that you've all, you know, kind of got used to um, playing those songs, but is it like, um, do you see like a lot more crowd reaction or do you see like, or are you enjoying playing the songs more or what do you think? Um, we definitely enjoy playing the songs. We've kind of, it was kind of an accident how, you know, we'd pull out a handful of new ones and we'd really stick with those in the set for a little bit. And then we would almost like reserve certain songs. There's some we definitely don't play as much. Mm -hmm. So it's cool seeing the reaction from other people and just, you know, from us on stage after the songs on the album. But it's like we don't play it that much compared to other ones. So that's definitely cool. It's almost like we have like new old songs or old new songs. Yeah. 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 Really, there's definitely been a lot of people at shows like I've seen singing along to them, which has been really, really cool. Yeah, even on Shiprock, I would like look out and I would see people singing along, and I was like, "Oh my god, you guys know our songs!" So that was really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, um, and you know, knowing that not everybody knows the song lyrics, it's like I like to kind of encourage more movement than singing, which people seem to like to move to our songs, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's um, a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But personally, I really love playing like all the songs that we have in our set list. I like playing all of them because uh, they're all just like very different. And so I feel like I can really diversify like kind of the performance aspect of it. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. And um, one thing, and I know um, when I was watching some of your other interviews that some other uh, interviewers asked the same question, is that you have a lot of production elements uh, in your songs, like you know, a lot of really cool vocal uh, edits and everything. Uh, do you emulate them when you perform? Or? Well, okay. So I personally really like the idea of having two very different experiences, yeah. having a listening experience at home and then a, li and then a, you know, a watching experience um, at nice. shows. Uh, and so, you know, like specifically like Baby's Breath, there's tons of backing vocals and stuff like that. But live, obviously, like it's just Megan and I that sing. They do some We're gang vocals. We're not doing that next album. I'm not. We can't do yeah. chorus vocals. We're not doing. We can't emulate. I'm sorry. No. no, but it's it's definitely it's definitely you know fun to, like, I guess not so much try, but like just try to do it a little different. You know, I instead of focusing on trying to make it sound exactly like the album, you know, I try to focus on giving more of an experience every night. Um, I feel like um, with all the backing vocals that were added to the album, I feel like it's challenged me personally um, because I do a lot of backing vocals live um, and it's, you know, Sydney and I have just like, sometimes, you know, we've done like lessons together of just like trying to, you know, match tones and everything. It's helped me be a better singer, but, you know, um, we tried to, you know, Sydney did it, said it good. It was very, you know, we could diversify everything and it sounds good live, I think. Yay. <laughs> Nice, and I mean, I do find that interesting because I do, f I mean, like singing itself is difficult, but I'm sure when you're playing an instrument and singing at the same time, it's difficult. So, I mean, I guess it's a question for the both of you. Like, how is it like playing live and then playing an instrument, whether it's guitar or drums and singing at the same time? Right. Um, well, for me, it was, it was really hard at first, like when I first started playing guitar and singing at the same time, because it's like my voice wanted to follow what I was playing and then what I was playing wanted to follow my voice. <laughs> but it, it just took kind of separating, you know, separating the brain a little bit. Uh, split brain. I, we, I split her my brain. brain. <laughs> now I have two I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> it was a pretty simple process. Yeah, actually. pretty simple. Just uh, anyways, minimally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, so, you know, it, it's just a lot of like, separating your hands from from you know your your mouth muscle i guess memory almost, muscle right? memory yeah i mean it's really like if i can play the guitar part without thinking about it and i can sing the vocals without thinking about it i can play them both together without thinking about it um so it's def it's definitely so every once in a while it kind of catches me off guard like i kind of catch myself looking at the guitar more than kind of what's around me um because mm -hmm. i do get a little distracted i guess because mm -hmm. uh, i start thinking about one more than the other mm -hmm. or whatever but um you know, it's it's definitely something that I'm getting better at, I think. Yeah. Um, f for me, it's like um, both my hands are going in very, like, pl you know, far places all over the kit. So I have to keep focus on what all four of my limbs are doing. <laughs> Plus, I have to, like, I have to kind of reach over because the mic is usually right there. <laughs>
so I kind of, huh, and then I'm playing, and it's just like, sometimes I'm like, I'll, you know, I'll miss a hit or something, but, you know, it's a lot of just like, you focus, you have to remember where everything is, so, yeah. 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 Awesome. And now I want to talk about Europe. Now, am I not, I think this is your first time in Europe, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Okay, also, are you all excited? Yeah. 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 We're very excited. Yeah. Europe's going to be it's it's uh, we're least, yeah. yeah no it's it's something that every time we talk about it with anyone else we're like oh yeah we don't have a following blah 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 and then everyone's like no don't worry about it like people go to shows in Europe like they just go to shows to go to shows mm -hmm. um, and so you know the more I think about it the more I talk to other people about it the more excited I get mm -hmm. um, but you know none of us have even been to Europe on our own wow. and so it's like it's our first time for everybody yeah. I think like a really funky thing to think about is like people have asked us in interviews before they're like how do you guys feel like you'll know when like you've like made it kind of thing and before we have answered we're like when we go overseas we'll feel like oh we've really done it and it's like we kind of retract that now <laughs> we retract it because we're about to go overseas and it's like and we're what? like panic <laughs> we're, yeah so it's just like crazy to feel like we're reaching like the goal of going to overseas so early in our career it's something I feel like we all thought was going to happen in like 10 years from now but all of a sudden we're going in Europe and we're just like what an incredible opportunity that we get to do it's so freaking cool it's been we're just a huge excited milestone for us as a band since day one yeah. yeah and and it's really cool to reach it so soon mm -hmm. yeah. awesome and now I do want to go back to uh, Manic Pixie Dream Girl but something that you said in an interview I can't remember uh, which member said this but uh, you said that it's important to not stick to one style of genre especially since you all are very diversified with your music taste so uh, why do you think it's important to just kind of be more various with your music styles? I, I feel like, you know, as, as a society and as, you know, a world in general, like we're, there's so many different kinds of people. Um, and music itself, it brings people together, you know, and when you only play one genre, whether it be super heavy metal, rap, like whatever you play, it's like you bring all those people together. But when you play a bunch of different music, like you bring people together from all these different kind of, I don't know, walks of life almost. Um, and it's also just more fun, you know, because you can hear that it's when it's all kind of the same genre. If sometimes it depends on the band, you know, it kind of feels like you're hearing the same song. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so when it's kind of different between songs, it's it's definitely a lot more of an interesting uh, experience, I guess, um, especially just sitting and listening to it at home, you know. Uh, and I like to say that, like, we have a little something for everybody. Uh, like, okay. you may not like all of our songs, but, you know, there's you like something. One, we did our job. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> yeah. We only need you to like one to be a fan of us, I guess, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Awesome. And now, because I've been following you all for a couple of years, and um, I've definitely seen you all grown as musicians. You know, you're growing in your career, like you mentioned, and, you know, especially hearing some of your earlier music to some, your current music right now, you're all truly growing. So do you agree with that, and how do you think that you're growing as musicians? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think all of us can agree, you know, musical tastes and styles and abilities have definitely developed, you know, separately and as a band. You know, we bounce a lot of things off of each other. We listen to so many kinds of music and we like to play a lot of different kinds of music so I mean that comes together with you know the eclectic mix of what we write but it's almost kind of a weird way of practicing you know it's like we play different music you kind of have to practice different styles so I think you know our writing style has definitely improved our skills yeah. and if that makes sense I don't know yeah. yeah I mean we definitely you know the more the more we play the better you get you know so it's like without even trying we're practicing almost every day you know um, and you know the, the more people we play with the more people we learn from mm -hmm. um, like I personally have been going and asking everybody like my favorite singers for like vocal advice because I'm like you know I feel like I could be better oh, yeah. right. what learn are some ways everybody. exactly yeah. you can learn from everybody and the fact that we meet so many people it's like we have so many people to learn from yeah, yeah. so yeah I feel like um, I feel like we also challenge each other um, you know and sometimes like on stage you know one of us will go off into something a little bit different that we haven't done the other time and we're like oh wow that's new that sounds cool you know and um, when you when you praise each other for you know going outside the comfort zone that's what like challenges us and that's what makes us like excited to improve so I think um, we've all especially really improved also sometimes one of us during some shows like every once in a while one of us will just suck really bad so <laughs> we have to like kind of help each other yeah. almost like sometimes like one of us will forget something or like maybe I'll sing an extra oh. chorus on accident mm -hmm. and so we all just you know we work together and I feel like you know we're really good at kind of like going with it Rolling now exactly <laughs> All right, awesome. And this is the last question. I'm just going to give you all the microphone. Just say whatever you want. You want to promote anything? Say hi. Go ahead. All right. Cool. Ah. 
down. Um, you can follow us on social media, Dollskin Band on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Our website is dollskinband.com. We are going to Europe in March, so if you are in Europe, anywhere there, we are coming to you. Not all of it. <laughs> Almost all of those shows. Yeah, so tickets are in sales. So if you head to our website or you head to our Facebook, uh, Bands in Town will actually have most of our uh, ticket links, and you can check us out there. And we are doing a really cool tour this summer that we cannot announce, but it is a secret, and it's coming soon. Uh, well, that was mine, but big tours this summer, lots of dates this year. We will most definitely be coming to a city near you. We've got new merch. <laughs> check out some new merch on our website. We need a uh, we need some funds, but uh, you know. Um. Yeah, our music is all over the place. What they say. Um, we, we have some new music maybe to look forward to. Yeah, maybe I don't maybe, know. Maybe maybe new music sooner than later. Uh, also on YouTube, you can find our music videos there. Um, we have videos for some of our songs on our old album and a couple of our new songs. So there's some cool videos check in there. Them out, check them out. Megan, anything to add? Hi. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Like Dollskin said, they have a lot of great touring going to Europe for the first time this year, and it does look like they um, tinted at some new music, so keep up with everything they're doing. And thank you so much for watching. Oh